how to import and edit custom HTML template on MailChimp. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to import and edit any template or email template that you can add to your MailChimp campaign. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over MailChimp.com. Then you need to sign in for an account. As you can see here, we have the favicon of my account and here we have the uh, name of it. Right here, we have uh, registered within the um, platform. We are going to click on the favicon of the account. Then we are going to select MailChimp Home. So right here, we have the MailChimp home. As you can see, we have the admin dashboard. So the first thing that you need to do is to create the email. So here we are on the dashboard. We are going to click on create. Now, after we have clicked on create, we are going simply to choose the regular email. Go ahead and click on regular email. Then we are going to see here uh, the design of the email. You are going to select here design email. You can also create some automation landing pages. But here the most important part is to go ahead right away here to the email. Here we are going to give a name for our email. For example, here we are going to set news newsletter like that. Then we are going to click on save. Here we have the name of the template. Now we have, or we must put the subscribers or add the recipients right here. Go ahead and add the recipients. If you don't know how to add the recipients, you are going to click on edit recipients. Then you are going to see here the pre, um, pre used the format here, the audience, and you can choose also an audience right away. So if you didn't or you don't have an audience, I highly recommend you to go to the admin dashboard. Then you are going to add the um, contacts either by importing them or you can go ahead and add them manually. So we have here um, set the subscribers. I'm going to click on save. Now we are going to set up the email from, for example, here from here we have the email sender. We have also right here the email or our email to send from. So I highly recommend you to use your own uh, and proper email because either way, if it is not very suitable or it contains some weird names, it will be going to trash or to the spam section. Uh, a little disclaimer, guys, everything created in this video, such as email addresses, accounts are created for the sake of the video and not for any personal uses. So keep that in mind and use your own information. Here for the subject, you can go ahead and add a subject. For example, here we are going to create a newsletter. Then you are going to head over right here uh, a lot of uh, uh, subjects. So if you want to put here this newsletter, you can go ahead and uh, also this for the preview here for the month or the month of let's say here September September month like that month what is this here uh, now we have to paste this also copy paste you're going to click on save now we have the sending time you're going to set it right now or you can schedule it so when you finish you're going to click on the most important part which is the content these preview steps are very 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 necessary to add these things so here we are on the template here we have the preset templates we have the save templates draft emails and code your own here you can go ahead and copy and paste, import from URL or import a zip. So right here, we are going to import it with a code. So we are going to head over here, Stripo. Stripo.emails is a uh, email specialized theme or template creator 
that is going to be here HTML coded. So you are going to copy and paste only the HTML code, then you are going to get yours. So as you can see here, we have some uh, templates. We have some free templates, or we have some um, also paid templates. You can go ahead and create your own from scratch, and then you are going to get the code of it. So go ahead and choose your own template. For example, this one, I'm going to click on edit. Then we are going to see here the editor. You can either go ahead and modify the template from here, or you can import it to a MailChimp, then you are going to set it. So here we can have everything. You can go ahead and see here with that, we have some image blocks. Here we have some structures. You can add whatever you want. For example, you can add a text, a button, a, a here, a divider, a spacer or whatever. Then we have a lot of things. You can go ahead and see here the stripes, headings, buttons. Here we have also the message settings. Go ahead and modify these. Then you are going only to export it. When you finish everything, you can go ahead and see the mobile version of it. We have the uh, desktop, we have the preview, and also we have the code. You can also modify the code itself. Now I'm going to click on export. Then it will give you some options. Here we are going to export this not by email provider because this it needs a upgrade. We don't need an app, but we are going to need the file. Here we have a PDF, AMP HTML or an HTML. So we are going to use an HTML. You can go ahead and put a file, archive or copy code. So we are going to set up the code. I'm going only to see the code boom here we have the code now we are going back to mailchimp i'm going to click on paste in code so here the three options are set for an upgrade so you are going to need to upgrade here to a more um, valuable or a more premium plan you can go ahead and see here that they have set the best value of standard in my case, I cannot because I'm using only the free version. But in your case, only you are going to copy to clipboard. Then you are going to click on this. If you have upgraded, then you are going to paste only the code and apply that specific code. You will see here that your code will be uh, applied to the safe templates and also the draft emails. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.